We're going to show you the proper procedure for installing a fuel pump into this GM fuel hanger assembly. On this sending unit assembly, we have a fuel strainer, the fuel pump, the pressure hose comes up, and that's your outlet pressure going to the engine. Here's your return line coming back from the engine. We have a sending unit and float assembly. We have the top flange, a wiring harness, a small emissions hose, and a large emissions hose. First step in installing a new fuel pump in this hanger assembly is removing and discarding the old strainer. Now we will disconnect the electrical line and remove the clamps. Slide the pump up and out of the bottom isolator. Remove and discard the old isolator. Now we'll slide the pump off and remove the old hose. In the box we have a new fuel pump installation kit along with some instruction sheet. In the kit we have a isolator, two hose clamps, a length of fuel line hose, two tank seals, and a pump isolator boot. Now we'll install the fuel line onto the hanger assembly, install our clamps. We will install the isolator sleeve onto the pump, slide it up the body of the pump, now we'll take the pump, slide it into the fuel line hose. We will install the isolator on the bottom of the pump. Now we'll set the fuel pump in the hanger assembly. Being sure to center the bottom of the pump. Now we're going to tighten the hose clamps. Reconnect the electrical connector. Install a new Airtex fuel strainer. You need to be sure and position this strainer where it does not interfere with the sending unit arm. This is a press fit. Now we're ready to install our hanger assembly with the new Airtex fuel pump back into the tank.